We're doing it. We're breaking down C.J. Stroud. And listen, I know some people on the staff there in Houston, and they have so many wonderful things to say about him. And I wanted to see if the hype was real for myself because I've had him uh, honestly behind Bryce Young, uh, ahead of Anthony Richardson in this last class of uh, draftees. And Man, I was wrong. I would put him number one right now. The dude is playing some of the best football uh, in all of the NFL, and he's a rookie. Listen to these stats, okay? Baltimore, first game, 242 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Indy, 384, two touchdowns, no picks. Jacksonville, 280, two touchdowns, no picks. Pittsburgh, it's Blitzburg's defense, 306 yards, two touchdowns. Man, the dude is on fire right now. He's averaging over 300 yards a game, passing six touchdowns, no interceptions. And let's just dive on in because I want to see what they're doing in Houston offensively. All right, tight formation here. Little motion. This is going to look exactly like San Francisco's offense. And what do you know? It's a slim route. Looks like it's a little bit late. All right, so they're going to have a little fun motion right here. Put him back. You see him there, touch his butt. Okay, for the snap, a little slim route. I've talked about it a lot. That's your first read, five to seven steps. It doesn't matter what it is. And then they've got a, like a through route right here in a, in a deep post. So all they're doing on this deep post right here, they're reading this guy, this safety, Minka Fitzpatrick. Okay, if this safety jumps down on this, this is going to be Lonchola. Okay, let's see it. Not, a, not the perfect throw to start the game. He was on time. The ball just sort of flutters a little bit. And honestly, 29 just makes a really good play. Number three right there. I'd love for number three right there out of your break. If you have so much green grass in there, okay, what I want you to do is I want you to flatten it. I'm sure it's getting coached like that. If it's flattened, then he can throw the ball a little bit more hard uh, right on his body. But here it just uh, doesn't quite get there because three is moving upfield. Don't love the route. But I like the aggressive start. Let's see it from this stand. So all, all it is is a two-by-two two formation, and it gets here, okay? And what I saw early in the game was they were affecting um, Watt, man. Watt was uh, a, a, a beast. Uh, TJ's one of the best pass rushers in the game, and we'll show a couple of these clips where they're getting two, two guys on them or four guys, four hands on them as well. So a little motion right here, okay? And fake. Love the fake. Okay, it's quick, and look at his balance. I just saw this all day. His feet, his feet were in rhythm, man. It was really impressive to watch, and just a good play right there. Not a bad start. I like the aggressive start, though. It's that slim route we see so much. Next play, second and eight. See what we got here, motion into empty. I like it. And you're going to see a lot of this, like, it looks like two-man, okay, from Pittsburgh, but it's like old-school two, where he just sort of matches him. He's just sort of floating. He's just sort of floating. Not that Tampa two, okay, and they're going to match up on the outside. So it's not really two-man, but it sort of is. Okay, let's see the route concept here. Just a little out, okay. So what you're going to get here, you're just going to get a little out, okay, a little in. Not great versus two man, so he's working down here. He's hoping for this guy to win on the out route. Okay, you got a through route, you got a now route, and you got the the whip route is what we call it. So it, it just comes back into your vision, okay? And so how he's reading it, he's just going one to two to three. Okay, let's see what he does here. Nothing open. Okay, it's playing like two man right now. It's really not, but it's playing like two man the way they're playing. And when it's two men, no one has the quarterback. I thought he did a really good job of look at all that green grass in front of him. Go get you that first down, kid. Impressive. Faster than, than a lot of people realize, too. See, from this, his pocket presence was really good. This is what the coaches and the coaching staff talks about a lot is just, hey, he doesn't take a lot of sacks. If it's not there, he's running. <laughs> exactly what he does here. Take off. Man, that's awesome as a quarterback, right? Just don't get hit. Get down, man. Got to get down. Or out of bounds, even better. Next play. Second and six here. Trips formation. Let's see what we got here. 
Looks like a little blitz right here. Another blitzing. Okay. Blitz the back. That's what a lot of teams do. And you got a nice little screen. And I put this on here. Let's see this run, and I'll rewind it back, man. 31's legit. I put this on here because it's nothing special, right? But screen sometimes when they're blitzing the back. Okay, they're doing a little cross screen here. It's difficult, but I want you to watch. I want you to watch our guy here. No fear at all. He just drops back, okay? And, and what, we, what we say in the quarterback room is like, that's a free rusher right there. That's a rusher. You're the bait right there, man. You got to bait him into uh, coming after you instead of taking the back, and that's exactly what he does. Honestly, it's a lot harder said than done. It looks really easy, but as a rookie right now, it's impressive, and and I've just noticed too. Um, we'll go to the back view. The release on CJ. We're gonna show a lot of these uh, throws, obviously, but I want you to watch how short and tight and compact his release is. I didn't know he had this at Ohio State, but that's 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 legitimately like there's no waste of movement. He's up and out. Like that's impressive to me. Let's do. Let's see slow mo one more time. That's impressive. Really, really impressive. Get the ball out quick. Man, Pierce is a good player. Third and three, money down. Empty formation. Okay, you see a linebacker out here. You know it's man. That's go to school formations. GTS is what we like to call it. Go to school. Hey, look who's out there. Who's on the running back? Is it a linebacker? Okay, cool. It's man to man coverage. Let's see what we got for man beaters. They're actually in quads formation. There's a trips bunch and the halfbacks all the way out here. I'm guessing they're trying to isolate this guy right here. Let's see what we got here. Another broken play. Oh, he doesn't score, but he gets close. And I was trying to see what they're what they're doing. It just looks like he's got a through. He's got maybe a corner. He's just sort of chilling. This is the fade. To Nico Collins that they want to that they want to get and it's almost like a whip route underneath and I think he's trying to get that whip route he's working here to that whip route which is um right here by the linebacker but nothing's open they cover it really well it's almost like a cover zero hole what's that okay everyone's got a man he's sort of doubling Nico so this corner can have outside leverage and this guy who's the free safety normally in the middle of the field he's just sort of the whole player so it's not blitz but it, there's a lot of guys in the middle of the field and what do you know take off Good effort, though. Love that. You can always hurt a defense down here in the red zone with your legs. Okay, he sees it. He sees it right away. Not there. Not open. Okay. In fact, double. He said, hey, look, B-gap, step up. That's what I'm going to do right there. Okay. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to go try to score. Juked out. Oh, I thought he was in. But they called him down at the one. It's unfortunate. They end up scoring on this drive. And I'll show you it right here. It's a little pop pass. It's like old school pop pass. Like I can see nothing else here, right here. It's just heavy run sell. Nico Collins go up there and go right there. The biggest thing to me here, which I saw was just the amount of play action and the, and the amount of fake that, that uh, he was able to get, because this is really the guy, this is the safety that you really want to pull up. Okay. With the fake. And I want you to watch him right there. He goes after it. He takes the cheese, man. That's awesome. I have no idea why he's taking the cheese, but I do know that this tight end coming back right here, okay, it's called a crunch run. That's probably what he thinks it is. He might think it's zone read, and he might think that he has to have the quarterback on zone read. They've shown it before. So really good play call by the Houston Texans right there. Great shiftiness by Nico Collins. He's 6'4". Dude's having a baller of a year, man. Love the celebration. Yep, warm the hands up, Big 50. Love that. Let's see it from this view. Love this fake right here. Okay, he's got his eyes directly on him. You can see he's looking right at him. Okay, I think he's probably going to come back to this side if uh, Nico doesn't win, but luckily his first read wins. And look at that throw. It's like the falling away throw. Look at that. Perfect spiral right on his shoulder pads. I love when O-linemen do that. That's awesome. All right, third and three again. Two by two formation. This is I, I'm going to just go ahead and guess this is what it is because I just watched San Francisco 49er film and their offensive coordinator slow. It came from the 49ers. I'm guessing it's going to be this, 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 and that. 
Okay, and he's just going to sweep the board, read it across, and see where he goes. Looks like the Steelers here are going back to a cover two, tricky two look. Okay, looks like man coverage to me. It looks like he could be blitzing. Okay, he's there and decides to go back to Tampa two. So this cloud corner is what you got to be worried about right here. Okay, and I love this throw to Robert Woods because I would think Robert Woods should sort of sit in the hole. That's how it's taught, right? Okay, and he goes outside release and you're just throwing off this corner. Okay, but Robert Woods, you can see at the top of his break, he keeps running out. He almost gets smacked, okay? But the ball placement by CJ, he's already got the ball going that direction. He's not even turned around yet. The anticipation he's throwing with right now as a rookie is unparalleled, to be on completely honest with you. Okay, he should sit right there, and the ball should be on him. But CJ takes him away from a hospital ball is what we like to call it. You throw that into the cloud corner, it can be a headache for your receiver. So here you go, a little motion. It's funny to me, but that quick release. Look at this quick release, okay? And I thought, honestly, like the O-line, for the most part, I know it's quick game, but the O-line for the Houston Texans, blocking for this young rookie, I thought they played their tails off, honestly. But good throw, big-time conversion down there in the red zone. Those are hard to come by for third down especially. All right. What we got here, a little motion to empty. It looks like a couple times they went to empty here uh, early, which I like. It just sort of clears up the picture for quarterbacks. Let's see what they're running. Okay. Oh, man, that is sweet. So back to that old school Tampa 2. It's really, or Sorry, old school cover 2. He's just sort of floating. He's got matching him. He's sort of matching him. He's sort of matching him. But it's cloud right there, okay? It's a different way to play it. And all the Texans are running just a smoke route. Smokes just uh, stay right there. Looks like they're running like a Hank route, which is like 12 to 14 yards back to us. And normally what you do on a Hank route is you just go up there and sit right there. That's what a Hank route looks like right there, okay? But what they decided to run was they decided to fake this and go up high because it's too high look. And I'm pretty sure CJ checked to it. And I want you to watch this ball. Look when he throws it. He's starting to throw it right now. Okay, the timing, look at that. The receiver is already looking back at him. This is an absolute dime. When I saw this, I was like, dang. Like for a rookie to feel that with Dalton Schultz right there, to me, it's awesome. CJ knows exactly what he's talking about. Okay, he goes up, he alerts it, Dalton Schultz gets it. All right, man, let's do it. Sweet route too. So good. Almost lulls him to sleep right there. To do it. Okay, and the ball is perfectly placed. Look at this. Boom, perfect, especially so you can get some run after catch. The yak yard that we talk about all the time. That's a dime to me. See it from this view. This is even better. We're going to show both back views. He alerts it. Dalton Schultz gets it. Once again, you're just looking right here. Look at the timing by CJ, the footwork. It's awesome. Moves away from pressure. I mean, that is an absolute perfectly thrown football right there. Nice job, CJ. Second and six. Under center. Okay. Little naked route, little over route, and he misses this one. Look, I don't want to show all good things. The young quarterback misses it as well. One of these guys, it's a you, me call, high corner, okay? Depends on the technique that they're playing on the tight end. Just an over route. And a high post. Okay, he's just going to come out, fake it. Okay, you got one guy blocking in, and you're going to hit this over route right here. Okay, it's open. He just misses the throw. Looks like he short arms it a little bit. Got to get him some uh, better under center fakes right there. Got to stretch the ball out. He gets the edge, though. Just ends up short arming it. We'll see it from this view right here. Pretty simple. It's a little bootleg. That's all it is. Big number nine goes out. Okay. Got number eight running away. He's open. He's a little deep, though, but you got to make this throw. Looks like he just short arms it a little bit right there. Look at that. Just, just a little bit right there. Not bad. Can't show all good plays. Okay. A couple more plays here. Love this formation right here. And, and this play to me, I have no idea 
the concept they're running, I know it's an RPO, okay? So they're gonna bring Tank Dale, the rookie, over in motion, okay? And they're gonna run a wheel route with them. Nico has a seam, okay? And they're cutting off the backside with this tight end and they're, they're running a read option, okay? So that's the concept, but I think that he is reading this free safety for a throw read to this seam or to this wheel. The, pr the problem is on this one, it's man-to-man -man coverage, okay, on this guy, but somehow, some way, he's able to fit this throw in, which is really impressive, right, with, right? with a guy in his face because number nine doesn't quite get it off. This is so much better of a throw from behind, but like the anticipation with this throw, the catch, like everything, like look at this. So all it is is Nico's gonna run a seam. You're gonna be this guy across, run a wheel route, okay? And all CJ is looking at is right here, okay? But his his key blitzes, so I don't know if they practice that during the week. Uh, mere mortals would just hand it off and live with another play, but CJ said, nope. Not today. I'm going to toss this thing. Look at this. Whew. I mean, the dude doesn't even need to step to throw. That's really impressive to me. Like, big play. That's really, really cool. Fourth and one right here. Little motion with Robert Woods. Really impressed with the Texans receivers, too. Oh, a little K5 pass. Oh, he just dirts it. Oh, man, that's tough. Yep, all it is, everyone in the league runs it. Corner, shallow, shallow, full back in the flat, fourth and one. You just come back this way, everyone's turning this way, and you're hoping literally just to hit this flat route to this shallow route. He had them open, too. Looks like he's just getting absolutely smoked after the play, too. So, honestly, we tell these fullbacks, too, it's fourth and one. There's a line of scrimmage. Just get a couple yards. Like, you should be right here, Max. Let's see where this fullback ends up. He's not too bad. He's he's drifting on an angle like that. Sometimes these fullbacks can get a little bit tricky with it. Okay, let's see this back view. It's always harder going to the left. We call it K5. Look at that. I don't know why 31's offset that much. Motion into it from a slot formation. I formation left now. Okay. And he's there, okay, never a good position. We saw Brock Purdy do it a couple times, but when you're this way, it's much harder for you to then flip your hips back to throw that way versus if you're going this way on a right-handed quarterback, you can get it out a lot faster. So he feels the pressure. He's falling away from it, doesn't quite get it there and gets smoked, which I thought should have been a late hit by T.J. Watt right there. Second and 12. All right. Oh my gosh. Another crazy concept that I've really never run before, okay? It's just a clear out seam right here. It looks like a seam, okay? And I think he probably is reading it for his two eye because this play is just old school levels play. We just call it delay. So you're one to two, and this, this, uh, this route right here can convert to a post versus cover two. Usually it's a basic cross route, meaning go to 10 to 12 yards, come across. That's usually what it looks. I like this little fly motion by the halfback. But the anticipation on this, I've no, I don't know if I've ever seen this play in all my years running it thrown this early. But it works, and it's a completion because 50's out of whack. I think the motion really um, screws with this guy because he thinks he should go with him. But really, you're just the Tampa 2 Mike. You don't need to go anywhere. And CJ spots it and gets it. And these receivers have had some amazing run after catches, though. Look at that. I mean, that's impressive. Look, like the ball is coming out when this back foot hits. Okay, he hasn't even cleared it. He's in there, right there. Man, they're on the same page, whatever they're doing. It's really impressive. Love the run after catch. Two minute drill right here. First play to start. They've already had 42 plays in the first half against Blitzburg. It's really impressive. I love it here. Man, this is sweet. Okay, you got a middle read route right here, which means take the middle versus cover two which they're in a basic cross versus anything else and they're going to run these deep little hook routes okay 18 to 22 yards hook routes but i want you to watch the progression right here by our guy because he starts up here which is correct okay they'll have little flat routes here 
and he gets all the way back to this guy right here, which I think is really, really cool. And I want you to run, watch this run after catch, too, by Nico. Okay, that's sweet, man. Looking up top, not there, coming back. And his eyes honestly hold this guy, this safety buzzing in. It holds him right there just enough. Okay, corner's not playing tight because it's cover, cover three. And then look at this run after catch. Like, oh, look at Tank Dell. He's pissed. Come on, bro. You got to break that. Really impressive, though, in a two-minute drill. Let's see this back view. One, two, three, four, five. Looking that way. Okay, nothing there. This, this should be the window. I don't see the receiver there. He's already coming back this way. Okay, and his eyes help hold Minka Fitzpatrick right here just enough to where you can have a window for Nico Collins to find right there. It's exactly what he does. On time, in rhythm. Gives him a chance to run after the catch. Can't tell you how impressed I've been so far with CJ. All right, a little eye formation. Green left off. F fly. I thought this was sweet. Look, this is a, like a little run check right here. It's just as a part of the run. If you have a certain safety rotation strong, you have a little key route is what we used to call it, just like a little, little slant route. But what makes this so much more impressive to me is this player right here. TJ Watt is right in his face honestly doesn't even know he's got it but just I mean love this like just learning the offense taking control of the offense seeing that this corner is so far off and just getting stuff like that like to me I know for a fact the coaches are super excited about random stuff like this it won't show up on a stat sheet like that but man to me that was really really impressive let's see if we can see it this I mean they're just they're, they're just running zone this way okay and he's got the opportunity to just hey just run this key route, but this guy right here, the, like defensive player of the year, unblocked, right in your face, and you're able to do it. Really cool. Look at that. That's like the easiest play I've ever seen. That's awesome. And I'm you know, just really impressed with how C.J. Stroud has done. Honestly, this is my first time watching him, and I thought that his film was excellent.